Hello again everyone and welcome to our channel. It's nice and warm today after the cold January month and it feels so relaxed as I just finished the project I've been working on since past two months. So after this video I'm just going out of the office, do the real life things and just do whatever. Alright so my name is Devashish and I'm a BIM consultant at Chrisire. If you do not know what BIM is or you need BIM consulting on your projects then visit our website www.chrisireconsulting.com. The link is in the description. So in the last video we discussed about the basics of 3D BIM modeling, 4D BIM simulations, 5D cost estimation and 6D facilities man management which are basically the dimensions of BIM. In today's video we are discussing BIM maturity levels and common data environment. Before we start, if you want to stay up to date with building information modeling, then don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and get access to the informative videos on BIM for free. So first, let's begin with what are BIM maturity levels. As we discussed in my previous video, BIM is neither a software nor just 3D modeling. It is a construction management tool that helps AEC professionals to control cost and time overruns of a construction project. That should be the BIM anthem. BIM is implemented as a process on a construction project and to implement BIM correctly, we have maturity levels and dimensions of BIM. So moving to what are BIM maturity levels? BIM maturity level measures how much a project or a company uses building information modeling processes and technologies. Of course, the adoption of BIM depends upon the project goals and objectives and the project's complexity. It also shows how well a BIM is being used and adopted in different stages of a project. BIM levels range right from the preparation and brief stage to advanced collaboration and data sharing. That's it, simple. The higher the level, the more advanced and integrated use of BIM is. BIM processes are implemented in different construction stages. This brings us to the next topic, construction stages. As per RIBA plan of work 2020, construction stages are divided into six parts. Stage 0, strategic definition. Stage 1, preparation and brief. Stage 2, concept design. Stage 3, special coordination. Stage 4, technical design. Stage 5, construction. And stage 6, handover. These are not the maturity levels, but the construction stages. Okay, great. Now let us understand the classification of the BIM maturity levels and where they fit in these construction stages. Let's now discuss the classification of BIM maturity level. The classification of BIM maturity levels from level 0 to level 3 represents a progression in the adoption and implementation of building information modeling practices. Let's begin with level 0. At level 0, there is little to no use of BIM. So what do we mean by there is little to no use of BIM? The design information developed at this stage typically represented in 2D drawings or paper-based documentation. We can consider level 0 BIM level in stage 0 or one of RIBA construction stages. Because at this level, we are developing the project briefs and conceptual designs of the project. Therefore, there is minimal or no collaboration required between project stakeholders and digital models are not developed at this stage. Well, who are the project stakeholders? They are the people who are directly or indirectly associated with the construction project. They include architects, engineers, project managers, project owners, clients, contractors, subcontractor, etc. Now let's discuss level 1. So at level 1 marks the introduction of 3D BIM modeling, but it usually done independently by each discipline. What does it mean? Well, it means that 2D designs are developed by the architects, civil engineers and MEP engineers and the BIM team from three different disciplines start developing 3D Revit model uh, for each discipline. We can categorize BIM level 1 in stage 2 of RIBA construction stages because at this level we can expect limited collaboration amongst project stakeholders. By collaboration is limited, we simply mean that the 3D models and the BIM data may or may not be shared between different stakeholders. Information exchange is mainly based on 2D drawings and 3D models sometimes, but there is a production of 3D Revit models. Before we dive into level 2 of BIM, let's discuss the common data environment CDE in BIM. Common data environment is the basically developed between stage 1 and 2. CDE is a cloud-based sharing platform in which project stakeholders exchange the design and BIM data. A common data environment CDE is simply a common workspace for a project stakeholders like your WhatsApp group. 
the difference is that instead of sharing the information in textual or graphical formats you can share the three dimensional bim models cad drawings project data and any bim data using the cde amongst your project stakeholders all advanced software such as Revit, Tecla, Archicad can be exported into an open source common file format such as IFC, Industry Foundation Class or COBI which stands for Construction Operation Building Information Exchange. These are some common formats for opening the building information data in CDE. Imagine you are a builder and building a giant skyscraper. Lots of people from different countries are involved, each using special tools. Sharing information smoothly can be tricky. That's where IFC comes in. It like, it's like a universal translator for building plans. No matter what software someone uses, Revit, Archicad, Tecla, etc., they can understand and share information through IFC files. Think of IFC as a common language, everyone speaks it, so they can collaborate easily without getting touch in translation. This is especially helpful in large international projects with many stakeholders. But where do you store all this shared information? That's where a common data environment CDE comes in. It is a giant online whiteboard where everyone can see and edit the plans in real time. So using IFC and CDE together breaks down communication barriers and make coordination, collaboration, smooth sailing. Level 2 Level 2 represents a major leap forward in the adoption of building information modeling. It goes beyond traditional 2D and 3D models by incorporating additional dimensions, adding valuable information about time and cost directly into the 3D Revit model. Key characteristics of Level 2 BIM are Enhanced data, 4D BIM allows for time-based scheduling and sequencing of construction activities, while 5D facilitates cost estimation and analysis throughout the project's life cycle. This will cover, I've already covered in the dimensions of BIM. In level 2, we also expect a collaborative environment. Teams for architectural, civil engineering and MEP disciplines work together in a common data environment. This fosters information exchange and seamless collaboration. In level 2, there is a structured approach. Implementation often involves formalizing processes through BIM execution plans which outlines roles, responsibilities and deliverables. Additionally, model federation techniques combine separate disciplines models into a single comprehensive representation. Level 2 BIM aligns with stage 3 of RIBA work plan 2020 which focuses on spatial coordination at this stage. The focus shifts from design intent to ensuring all the elements fit together seamlessly in a physical space. In summary, Level 2 represents a significant shift towards data-driven collaboration in the construction industry, enriching models with additional dimension and fostering teamwork throughout the shared platforms, leads to enhanced project efficiency and makes way to cost control. Now let's move to the Level 3 of BIM. Imagine you are working on a complex building project. Traditionally, each team, architects, engineers, contractors, might work on separate plans, leading to communication gaps and potential clashes. Level 3 BIM is like a whiteboard where everyone works together on the same 3D model in real time. All project players, from architects to facilities managers, see the latest updates instantly, reducing errors and rework of design. Data beyond 3D, 4D, 5D are seen here. Level 3 models are packed with 6D information details like material properties, contractor details, warranty dates, cost, performance data, empowering data-driven decisions. Owners and facilities managers can virtually walk through the design, providing valuable feedback and ensuring everyone's on the same page. This aligns well with stage 4 of technical design stage of RIBI construction stage in which everyone is working on the same model for finalizing the design. Level 3 helps in, ca in just catching early clashes, optimize design for constructability. Level 3 BIM isn't just about models, it's about transforming how we build together. So that's it. If you would like to learn more about building information modeling, or if you would like to implement BIM on your projects, then feel free to reach out to us at inquiry at the rate chrisireconsulting.com or visit our website www.chrisireconsulting.com. Thank you.